We're good, streaky! Yes! No, not that kind of streak. Let me explain. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Well, today's gonna be a little bit different because, uh, you know, I'm usually working on stuff or going somewhere or sharing something with you, but I guess, well, I am sharing something with you here today. Today is my 1500 day streak anniversary for running streak. Yeah, I, I run every day. I started this July 1st, 2020. And uh, before that, I, I was a runner, you know, I uh, signed up for some half marathons, marathons, some other endurance events. I've shared one or two of them on my channel. I don't do a lot, but uh, you know, the channel is about what I do. So that's just one of my adventures. But uh, I've been running a minimum of a mile every day for over four years. And we'll keep it up as long as we can. So big milestone for me, 1500 days. I got my running gear on, these are Bluetooth glasses, my running hat, my running shirt, running shorts, running shoes. So I'm going to head out. I'll stop about two miles in. I think I'm going to run four miles today and uh, let you know how it's going. I usually like to run in the mornings or in the evenings. It's midday here in uh, San Diego, about 80 degrees, a little bit hot for me. Some places it's much hotter than that. Some places it's much cooler, but uh, when I'm on vacation, I run where I'm at. I've run in Alaska. I ran in uh, Florida recently. And I don't know, I'll have to think about how many states I've ran in. But um, yeah, let me get let me get going. And uh, like I said, I'll stop halfway through and uh, touch base. And then we'll go over some statistics when I get back. All right, I'm a little bit over uh, three miles into my run. A little bit over a mile away from home. I like to stop a little bit and walk if I can. And uh, doing pretty good, about an 8.20 average per mile, which is fast for me. I definitely have a lot slower miles, a few faster than that, but that's, that's pretty good for me. Anyway, I don't like to stop. That's why I went to three. Um, yeah, don't really know as much as if I enjoy running all the time, but once I get going, it's easy. But once you stop, it's hard to get going again. Anyway, I'll put the, Put the camera down and get going again. I'll see you back at the house. I'm back. Got some uh, carb loading after the run. Yeah, you're supposed to carb load before. I guess this is a recovery drink. And that's the good thing about running is that you can, uh, well, you're not supposed to be able to outrun a diet. That's what they say, but you know, you can cheat a little bit here and there, I guess. Today's run, uh, total uh, for my 1500 days, adds up to 6,882 miles I have ran. Wow. Um, probably about 20 pairs of shoes. I get about three to 400 miles out of a pair of running shoes. I am not picky about running shoes. I usually buy whatever's on sale and I rarely buy the same pair of running shoes twice. So I've tried all the brands and there, I haven't found one that's like the magical one and I can't really think of too many I've had that I've totally hated. Nikes maybe. Um, if I buy Nikes, I gotta make sure I buy extra wide and I don't usually buy extra wide shoe. Um, I get a lot of people stop and ask me about these uh, Bluetooth running glasses, with the speakers on them. I just order these off of uh, Amazon or eBay or years ago, I, I bought them off of Wish. I don't really use Wish anymore, but uh, I don't remember the last time I bought some of these because I usually buy three or four pairs at a time. I think they were $15. They work pretty good. Um, they, some of them come with amber lenses, dark lenses, clear lenses, or some of them come with all of those. But uh, I like these things because I like to listen to uh, podcasts when I run because I'm running every day. Yeah, I get caught up on different things. Um, I have found money when I'm running. Most I've found is a $100 bill. I found three of those. Only one of them was real. I found two counterfeits. Um, I found lots of tools. I have, I think, half a dozen tape measures in my box over here. 
that I've found and just a whole bunch of tools. And I also find a lot of curb find stuff that people put out, you know, and put out to give away. And if I find something really good, I'll run straight home and then get the truck and pick it up. Um, man, lots of things. Amazing. And most of all, I guess I found a little bit of uh, good health. So um, if you can't run, put on your shoes and go out and do a mile walk every day. About two and a half years ago, I guess it was, uh, January 1st of 2022, um, I set my minimum mileage to 3.1 miles instead of just the one. And looking back through my running history, I didn't do a lot of just one mile days. I've done a couple, but I haven't done a one mile day in over two and a half years. So I run a 5K, 3.1 miles minimum every day. But let's see, 6882 divided by 15. So that's over four miles a day average. That's what I try to do. Four miles if I can, if I can do it. If I'm feeling like garbage, I do uh, my 3.1, which it's either zero or 3.1. Eventually the streak's gonna end. I don't know when, but uh, I bring my shoes with me. Anytime I go on vacation, I've ran in the airport. I've ran in the desert. I've uh, ran in the ice and the snow. Excuse me here, catch up. But I'm gonna try to keep going as long as I can. Um, it's easier to keep going once you're moving. Once you stop, it's hard to get going, just like I said in the middle of the run. I track my runs uh, using an app called RunKeeper. I'll uh, try to post up my stat from today's run on here. And uh, you can use whatever you want. Strava is a pretty popular one. There's dozens of different apps out there. I've just started using RunKeeper Oh, many years ago before I started this and I've just stuck with it it's a well I mean you can pay for it but uh, there's a free part of it it works fine and it seems to be pretty accurate uh, every once in a while I'll get some odd stuff happening where um, I know I know where my miles are when I'm running and uh, if I'm running the same route and sometimes it hits way early sometimes it hits way late but 99 point nine percent of the time is pretty accurate anyway let's end this here i need to cool off some more and uh, make myself some dinner all right if you're liking my content give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you're not already subscribed please consider doing so thank you very much for watching get out there and get some miles in adios